what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm lydia i make mental health youtube videos here on youtube today i'm talking about diazepam basically how it affects me what it does to me and because it's time for me to help my mental anyway i thought i'd take it at the beginning of the video so you can just see that it just you know what me and diazepam and diazepam is my, part of my regular prescription so dr pepper it is let's talk about what diazepam actually is diazepam is a benzodiazepine it works in a multitude of different ways for me i'm prescribed it for my anxiety and to keep me more chill through the day because i find my mood changes very quickly all the time and it's very up and down and it's just kind of it doesn't sedate me it just really calms me down i don't have any sedating effect from diazepam palm at all but it definitely keeps me calm and at a more reasonable level so the back of my box basically says take one or two tablets three times a day i'm having two tablets um primarily because i've been on it for so long my body is kind of built up a bit of a tolerance to it which is fine it's okay that's what happens with these medications it's not the end of the world so i was prescribed diazepam last year yeah i first started it in february and then i restarted it again in october I started it because my anxiety was getting very out of control, I was having more flashbacks and becoming more unsettled and ultimately I, according to the mental health team, I'm unsettled a lot because of everything that happened last year. Doesn't surprise me to be honest with you. Diazepam is one of them medications that I don't know if you can ever be like 100% comfortable with taking. I have a lot of fear with my medication and this is one thing I want to talk about. I have a lot of like medication anxiety and I'm going to do a whole video on this. But what I mean by that is when I go to take it I have panic attacks before I take it because of the side effects that's why it takes me so long to have the tablet so the side effects I mainly get off there are the muscle weakness like I get very my arms get very weak and I have a very very low in low ability to actually function properly so this is what it looks like exciting just a very small white pill there's a lot of stigma around taking diazepam although that's one thing i have noticed it's the level of stigma surrounding this tablet if you type in diazepam on the internet you just get get just get a load of like news reports like it's addictive it's addictive it's evil it's dangerous and yes it's addictive i don't know it, it, it can be addictive i'm not going to say that no it's not because i know people who have dealt with addiction with this and have dealt with addiction generally speaking i know what addiction's like hell i used to do cocaine i think that's part of the reason why i don't find this addictive mainly because of my past experience with the drugs to, to me this is the opposite of what i used to go for i used to go for like something that speeded up my thoughts rather than slow me down does anyone else ever get like terrified that the tablet's like stuck to the back of their throat and then feel like it has but even though you know it hasn't? I can't be the only one that feels like that. Right, I've been tweeting a lot recently about medication and I posted a tweet the other day basically showing what I was on and it got so, so much support. Like, the level of support that that tweet got was beyond anything that I ever had. It was just amazing. What I do like about this medication and I'm going to be honest, I'm making a video. Me and Eric are going to be doing a collaboration video later on this week where I talk about the pros of being on benzos because they are lifesavers for people. I will say this now, without the medications I'm on, I couldn't go out of the house. I, if I don't take it for a day, I can't physically leave my bedroom, meaning I don't eat or I don't even go and get a drink of water. That's the level of how bad my anxiety is. So taking a fucking pill, whether it's addictive or not, is so much better than putting myself through a living hell. I'd rather take an addictive tablet that I could be weaned off via professionals than I would to be sat in my room all day doing nothing. Because I do like going out, I do enjoy it, but I also have a lot of anxiety around it. And unfortunately, I can't change that at the moment. If I can take a tablet and it ease some of what I'm going through, I'll do it. I don't care if it's addictive or not. If it helps, it helps. And I think that's what people need to remember. Like, yes, benzodiazepines are known for being addictive. I can't sit here and say they're not addictive because they are known for it. That's what they, that is them. Like, your body can build up a tolerance to them so fast. Like, I think with diazepam, it takes eight weeks for it to build up a tolerance. It's something that I feel like should be represented better. Like, would you rather have panic attacks all the time and have intense anxiety, not be able to leave your house or take a pill that could be addictive but maybe won't be to me i don't find it addictive like i said i can go without it i can't go out the flat but i can you know i don't need to take it i don't have a desire to like oh i need more i need more i don't have that desire in me and i'm going to compare it to when i was 
hooked on, I hate saying it, when I was hooked on cocaine, but when I was on that, I, I would want more all the time. And it got, that got really intense, as you don't know that story. I'm going to make a video talking about addiction at some point. I just feel like I want to like, <laughs> my head gets really like, ooh. Do you know when you're like, you feel like you're a jelly? I don't know if that makes sense. You, you, you feel like a jelly and you just wanna. Okay. I just wanna say that diazepam for me has been a lifesaver. The first time I started taking it, I expected way too much from something. And that was last year. As most of you guys know, I went in hospital and just before then I was prescribed diazepam and I was like, this is fucking pointless, it doesn't do anything. And in reality, I had too high expectations. And that's, that's a whole video I wanna make. Now I'm like, I'm, I'm better of myself. I can, I'm functioning a lot better than I was last year now. Like, yeah, I still struggle. Yeah, I have anxiety attacks. Yeah, I have flashbacks still. And yes, I have depression. And yes, I still have all these mental health conditions. Is my life gonna change magically? No. I I can function in society and that's more than I could say about me a year ago. I also want to mention that Eric, those of you who don't know who Eric is, Eric here has a YouTube channel here on YouTube and did a collaboration with me last week and I want to, I'm going to link Eric's channel in the description because Eric made a really good video talking about Xanax and those of you who don't know in the UK you can't get prescribed Xanax so I learned a lot about it in that video. It was really insightful and it's similar to what I'm doing here. I did film this video already once but I feel more focused though now. I probably should have had this earlier and then I could have done my essay and actually made it so it made sense. I, I, I had to write an essay earlier and I submitted it and I'm, now I'm like really focused. I'm just like does it even make sense what I wrote? I don't know, probably not because all day I've been like rapid cycling through things. That's a whole of us video as well. Um, Basically what I wanted to say is stay out of isn't the enemy. Don't let anyone convince you it's the enemy. If you do take it, just be careful. And if you want me to do like a factual video talking about the different medications I've been on and the medications I want at the moment and want me to do stuff like that, I'm more than happy to. If you want me to do like more medication based videos or therapy videos, let me know as well. If there's any videos you'd like to, to, to make in particular, let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Give me a chance, you know? I make videos pretty much every single day. I didn't upload yesterday because I did a live stream for two hours. As you can probably tell, my energy levels are very calm, very chill, and I would very much so like to go and lie in bed. <laughs> so, um, with that in mind, I'm going to end this video here. Like I said, if you are new here, make sure you leave me a thumbs up and subscribe. Video requests down below, follow me on my social media, links as always are in the description down below. And now I'm turning into Philip DeFranco. Life's great. Peace, guys.